It's Dr. Candessa Tiki. Candessa grew up in a close knit traditional Cherokee community where the Cherokee language and culture are alive and well. Since 2013, Candessa has served as executive director of the Cherokee Heritage Center in Park Hill, Oklahoma. Through her administrative duties and leadership, Candessa is able to guide the CHC in its mission to preserve, promote, and teach Cherokee heritage, history, and culture. Candessa formerly served as the manager of the Cherokee Language Program for the Cherokee Nation and uh, in the Office and uh, Curriculum and Instruction at Jolly St. the Lake Rusty, uh, Cherokee and Immersion and Charter School. Candessa earned a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Native American Studies and Communications, a Master's of Education, and a PhD in Social Cultural Linguistic Anthropology uh, from the University of Oklahoma. In addition to her academic and career pursuits, Candessa is also an award-winning traditional leader. Please help me welcome Dr. Candessa Tegan. Kendesa <laughs> I'm happy to see you here today. Research Center, Dwayne King And basically, I just told you in Cherokee everything that Dwayne told you about me. <laughs> I have to take the opportunity as a language advocate, as a language learner, and as a language champion to use my language, to assert my right as a Cherokee woman to use my Cherokee language. If I don't do it, I can't very well expect others to do it for me. I have worked as executive director of the Cherokee Heritage Center in Park Hill, Oklahoma since December of 2013. I live in Tahlequah, I'm a full-blood Cherokee Nation citizen, and I am very, very thankful for the invitation to stand before you today and, and talk to you about the people of Park Hill. We've heard about the buildings, um, we've heard about the clothes that people wore, and now we're going to talk about the individuals. <clears throat> I have called this talk the Park Hill Cherokee Intelligentsia, examining the role of a Cherokee community in shaping history. I'm going to begin by briefly situating Park Hill geographically. Next, I will discuss why I've selected Park Hill as a literal area on which I focus for this talk. From the situating of this topic, I will then move on to highlight specific individuals who are living in and active in the Park Hill community. It is through the attention to selected members of the Park Hill community that I will be able to examine major historical events and decisions that shape both Cherokee, Oklahoma, and American history. Throughout this discussion, items of particular focus will be those that are held on the Cherokee 